with the biggest topic when it comes to vaccine today in Malaysia, uh, with the government announcing that they will be extending the use of Sinovac vaccines uh, to people over the age of 60. Professor Abi, what are your thoughts on this? And can you explain how this came to be? Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fantastic, actually, uh, you know, this news, because what this actually means is that our armamentarium, uh, you know, to fight against this, this COVID-19 pandemic, um, you know, just means that we have a bigger arsenal uh, to fight um, and to battle this. Um, the, but I've, I've noticed quite a number of comments, <laughs> you know, of why, you know, suddenly the government has, you know, made this decision uh, when in the past, uh, as many of you know, the, the use of uh, Sinovac uh, was limited to individuals uh, between the ages of uh, 18 and 59 years old. Um, but this actually goes back to the fact that our government of Malaysia actually makes its decisions based on data and robust data uh, through you know, real robust analysis by the National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Agency or NPRA. And the initial approval for the use of this vaccine was based on the clinical trials that we normally don't test on old people directly, <laughs> but we test it uh, amongst healthy volunteers. Um, and, and these are usually within that age range of 18 and, and 59. And, and that is the result, re reason why uh, this, this vaccine was initially approved for that age group. But now, because this vaccine has been used in thousands, if not millions of individuals, uh, we now have what we call as real world data. As you know, all this data of individuals that are being immunized in the various national immunization programs around the world, um, all have um, you know, the data be recorded and actually being followed up as well. And so um, two important studies that you know, came out one in Brazil and one in, in Turkey, where thousands of uh, individuals um, above the age of 60 have been vaccinated. And they found that number one, the vaccine was safe with um, whatever adverse reactions um, you know, expected um, in, in, in the normal population or in, in a given vaccinated group. And more importantly, that although the efficacy rates, and I'm sure we'll talk about this uh, shortly later, um, it differed between uh, countries. The rate of protection to severe and also moderate disease was pretty impressive. And, and this is particularly important because of the mutations and the variants of SARS-CoV-2 virus uh, in, in, in both these countries. And, and so for me, I'm really excited because number one, we now have you know, a greater use of this vaccine for a broader uh, population age range. But also we have this real world data that supports the value of this vaccine to combat against some of the more prevalent viral variants that are actually out there. So what I'm hearing is that, you know, this, uh, the research that we have now shows that indicates that the vaccine uh, is safe. But what about like maybe side effects uh, or any, maybe uh, anything and, uh, you know, were there any side effects that we should yeah. be concerned so, about? Yeah. So the, the side effects are pretty much the, the side effects that we get from the various different vaccines. So you normally have the, the fever and, you know, the various different uh, known uh, side effects um, that an individual will have uh, when they are actually vaccinated, or at least some individuals that will have uh, when they're vaccinated. But what's also quite evident, and I think this is quite universally seen across various different vaccination programs and, and vaccines, is that uh, individuals who are in the older category uh, actually have uh, lower side effects, and this is part of the lower reactivity uh, of the immune system. So um, in the balance of that, the fact that you know, the clinical trials, uh, including a smaller clinical trial that was done in the Philippines and announced uh, two days ago, 
that the individuals, the, the hundreds of individuals above 60 that were inoculated with this vaccine only showed mild to this moderate side effects, um, suggesting that um, the, the protective benefits against COVID-19 uh, severe uh, uh, manifestations uh, certainly uh, outweighs this um, low risk events.